As our country grows, so does our need for power. And we become increasingly aware of growing demands and desires to produce our electricity as sustainably as possible. We live in a world of finite resources, but we haven't run out of ways to power our nation. As we're breaking new ground, we're not just finding different energy sources, we're finding the best energy sources. The winds that move across Wyoming, sweeping over the Continental Divide, are the best onshore wind resources in the United States. Carbon County, Wyoming, is home to the most viable and extraordinary wind resource. Wyoming is ideally located for wind power generation. 5% of the class six and seven winds in the continental United States are located in Carbon County, Wyoming. It's the best wind conditions over such a large area. There are other locations in the country that have small pockets of winds like this. We've got it over miles and miles of very developable land. Wind can produce electricity without generating pollution, without generating waste, and without using water. It's a consistent, untapped resource able to generate thousands of megawatts of renewable electricity, capable of powering millions of homes with clean, sustainable energy. Wind energy is fairly new to Carbon County and the possibilities are endless. It can be one of the leading industries in Carbon County and I, I expect it to be around for quite a while. The Overland Trail Ranch, located in South Central Wyoming, has over 500 square miles ideally suited to harness the energy of the wind while still allowing livestock and wildlife to range and roam. Only about 2% of the land in the ranch itself will be utilized by the wind project. The rest is available for use by the ranch for, for cattle operations and agriculture. We can build the wind farm and we'll still have all the livestock operations that we've always had. And at the same time, we're gonna provide a commodity that needs to be provided. The Overland Trail Ranch is owned and operated by the Anschutz Corporation, a company poised to bring a proven history of developing and operating complex infrastructure projects to major wind energy and transmission line projects, capable of helping transform America's energy economy. The Anschutz Corporation has tasked its subsidiary, Power Company of Wyoming, to build a wind power plant that would be the largest single wind project in the United States, and one of the largest in the world. The Choke Cherry and Sierra Madre Wind Energy Project, it's one of the world's largest proposed wind energy projects with a thousand turbines. Those thousand turbines will produce approximately two to three thousand megawatts of renewable energy. The production of the project will be equal to or greater than all the wind energy projects installed in the state of California combined. The wind project is estimated to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 7.3 million metric tons per year. Since the wind turbines will create such a small footprint, it leaves plenty of room to implement wildlife conservation and habitat improvement measures. Working with experts in endangered species management and wildlife management, one of the things we have done is we propose a conservation plan, and then what we'll do is find ways that we can maintain the populations we have and hopefully actually increase the population. I think that maintaining the, the habitat and the wildlife in the area is very critical for the success of this project. The avian radar system uses conventional radar technology to actually track birds. The software and the underlying programs in the radar are actually developed to allow us to track all sizes of avian species, from small songbirds all the way to golden eagles. This is by far the most comprehensive pre-construction and pre-project survey effort that I've ever been involved in. And it really is allowing us as biologists to understand what is happening out there on the ground so that we can help Power Company of Wyoming and the state and regulatory agencies develop better strategies for conserving the species that are of, of concern. Because the ranch and the wind project include federal land administered by the Bureau of Land Management, the project will significantly contribute to federal land use and energy goals and will have the highest level of environmental analysis applied under the National Environmental Policy Act. Partnering with private enterprise to build critical infrastructure. 
bringing renewable energy to the United States, um, decreasing our dependence on foreign energy. These are exactly what the federal government is trying to do. The Overland Trail Ranch site has terrain ideal for harnessing Wyoming's powerful wind resources. The ranch is also ideal due to existing transmission and transportation corridors crossing the land, allowing all of the wind turbines to be delivered directly to the site by rail. We're creating an alliance with Union Pacific Railroad to have the vast majority of the materials and equipment for this wind farm delivered via rail to a distribution facility which is located right on the ranch. The result of that is we keep hundreds, possibly thousands of truckloads of equipment off the interstate highway system, out of the local communities, and off the local state roads. Once federal and state permits are in place, the project will generate construction jobs, manufacturing jobs, service jobs. We in Carbon County view wind energy as an opportunity to create jobs, a better tax base, a more stable revenue source so that we can provide all the services we provide. According to the Carbon County Economic Development Corporation, this would make Power Company of Wyoming the number three largest employer in the county. All of this new wind power, like other electric power produced in Wyoming, is more than what Wyoming needs. So new energy delivery systems must be built, such as the TransWest Express Transmission Project, planned to bring 3,000 megawatts of electrical energy over 725 miles from Wyoming to an energy hub near Las Vegas. From there, the electricity can be directed to where it's needed, places like California, Arizona, and Nevada, with millions of people to serve and state-mandated renewable portfolio standards to meet. The renewable energy demand is the driver to get these projects built, but it also represents a great opportunity Wyoming is the least populated state in the United States, but has tremendous natural resources, including some of the best wind energy resources in the United States. So it makes sense, both from a, a business perspective and a population perspective, to make sure that the wonderful energy that's produced in Wyoming is sent down to the cities in California, Arizona, Nevada that really need the power. It's a 3,000 megawatt line. It will deliver upwards of 20,000 uh, gigawatt hours a year. And that's approximately uh, about the amount of energy that's used by the city of Los Angeles in a given year. Because we're able to build such a large project with such a good wind resource, the cost of energy for what we're going to build will be uh, relatively low compared to um, other forms of energy. It's a huge investment in our country's electric system, making it more capable, more reliable, and more secure. A project so important that the federal government, through the Western Area Power Administration, is evaluating an equity partnership in the TWE project. We'll be, when the wind farm is built, a partner with the federal government because we will be using federal lands for the wind farm. With the transmission line, we actually have an even closer partnership. Western Area Power Administration is looking at becoming a 50% equity partner in the transmission system. So we have a, a government entity and industry partnering up to do this critical infrastructure. The TWE project, managed by Anschutz subsidiary TransWest Express, can provide economically priced electricity for nearly two million homes. It will stand as one of the five largest transmission systems in the world. This power line will help contribute to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and the reduction of pollution. It will be the equivalent to taking approximately 1.3 million cars off the road. Looking at the fundamentals of some of the projects, if we can get this infrastructure built, it's going to provide a great conduit to the marketplace and it will definitely be a game changer for our state. Nothing on the size or the scope or scale of these two projects have been built in the last 50 years. Our world is ever-changing, and we have the opportunity to define that change and our future. Combined, the Choke Cherry and Sierra Madre Wind Energy Project and the TransWest Express Transmission Project represent a $9 billion investment in the American electricity system, a system relied upon in our homes, schools, and businesses every minute 
of every day. Power Company of Wyoming has been very responsible in the way they've approached this project. This has the greatest wind resource I've ever seen in land that's very developable. With Wyoming's world-class wind resources, we feel like we can be a part of solving that demand for renewable energy in California and other places. These are the type of projects that people will be wanting to learn about and study in the years to come. To me, this is a great project because of the commitment that Power Company of Wyoming has to conservation of wildlife species and things that we as biologists are very passionate about. To put it simply, this is the right project at the right place at the right time. Starting now, we can provide the energy we need and can generate and deliver it better and more sustainably than ever before. It's smart energy. It's clean energy. It's renewable energy. And it's time.